I am back, guys. I do want to show y'all. Uh, I'm, I'm mostly still still warming up a little bit. I was at like negative 500, so, you know, been been chilling out down there. And I've gone back up here, and I want to show y'all uh, real quick while I'm still warming up a little bit what I've kind of done here. So, uh, like, I've, I've been using these sorts. I'm not going to, like, resort the whole thing to suit what I do because, I mean, this is kind of a limited time thing. I'm not going to be chilling in this map forever. <laughs> chilling. It's it's cold. It's really cold. It's cold. Get me out of here, please. No. <laughs> um, but I added uh, drops, and I'm just gonna put, like, things in there. Um, I put this in the armor chest, but I should probably put it in the drops chest, because it came from a monster. Um, and, and I made a, a sort back here that's just, just for snowballs, because I, I figure that my inventory will be filling with snowballs a lot. So I... I made a made a sort of I'm just gonna put snowballs and and maybe ice and snow blocks in there. I don't know. I could you know, I could use them. Maybe. Let's see. How have I gotten colder? I've gotten colder. Okay, let's go let's go back down here. Let's go back down here for a little bit. Try not to fall in the lava. And get get warmer. I wanna be warmer, not colder. And it's gonna put me in the positives, right? Okay, cool. Uh, now I feel like I can put my armor back on. Okay. So, I think it's time to go put this on the... Uh, to, to start building the airship. So let's go do that. Oh, um, the, the fur-lined stuff. I, I mean, I've got it in my, in my armor sort chest in there and I've basically decided I'm just gonna not use it. It's, it's not, it, it's not worth it. Okay. It's like the armor equipping sound. Uh, and we've got a little bit of an airship going on there. Cool. Um, Another thing is that this is not a 16 wool map. It's just an 8 wool map. So I'm, I'm cool with that. It's a, it's a little short. Short and sweet to um, to kind of, you know, maybe actually finally finish one of these maps before I do a, a full 16 wool map. <laughs> um, so, like, I've played... Uh, we're going to... First of all, I was going to just start rambling uh, when I, I can... I need to go read the next book, uh, the next, the next Talia book, cause, um, I hope there's one about the Boreal Valley. This should be the next one, right? I think is day seven. So let's read this. Oh wow, new favorite spot. While the glacial rift was pretty, there is, there wasn't much of interest there. However, Boreal Valley is the, ru has the ruins of a huge bridge that I may have sort of wrestled with a bit. Come on, you try looking down. I mean, I I went there, and I think I shifted over the edge a little bit. I don't know. Maybe I didn't. So I got tired of freezing my butt off exploring the area and decided to build a cute little outpost on a cliff. The view is super fab. Some people have better vision than others. Mine is the best. I can see 32 um, units. That's a that's a render distance joke. That is a render distance joke. Okay. Um, if my computer had a better processor, I would be able to see that far. But I know not everyone can see that far away, so I made a cute little pink flag so the outpost sticks out better. Anyway, uh, okay, fine. I'm a little scared of heights. A little, I've, I added words that weren't there. Whatever. Guilty. You got me. Johnny, show them what they won. Nothing. You, you win nothing. Okay. Understandable. That's, this is fine. I tried to get some wood and bridge out to fix the gap in the massive stone bridge, but I made a little way, uh, but I made it a little ways out, looked down, and totally lost my nerve. So instead, I eventually spent like 10 friggin' years and dug out a big, dumb, coward staircase in the cliffs. Okay. So when I was going up to that one side with, with the cliff in the, in the hole, that, that's, I was technically on the right track. But then I decided to spend way too long just going through all the staircases in this stupid bridge. 
Now I can go either way and explore more, although I need to be mindful of how I spend my time. I only have so much, and I need to fully analyze the Magitek reactor. That is sort of like my main objective here, duh. But seriously, it feels like it takes... Uh... It feels like it take... It take all day, yes. Uh, but seriously, it feels like it takes all day to make the hike, and I have a while to... Uh, and, and all the while, I have to be careful about how cold it gets. The outpost was a very good idea. I will try to remember always. Uh, I will try to remember to always keep it stocked with spare supplies. I suppose I don't really need to explore. Technically, I could just go to the thawing dead and kill fifty zombies, and that meets my requirements for the test. But I would know that I cheesed it, and this is literally an adventuring test. Come on. Okay. So there's that. So I. I guess I go to that area. Is that... Is that, like, gonna be a dungeon or something? I think. Because the, the whole melting dead area was a little... Uh, wasn't... Didn't seem very threatening. I, and again, I'm probably gonna regret those words. I'm gonna eat... I'm gonna eat my words later when I have, like... Hordes of skeletons and zombies and creepers and all these special, like, special freaking monsters that are special spawning, like, angry pigmen for no reason and stuff like that. Anyway, um, yeah, I'm going this way. Uh, some of these, like, I could probably take up some torches from here, but, like, all those furnaces back in the geothermal plant are chock full of coal, so like I'm I'm not worried about running out of torches. So I can just like light up spaces like this that are dark anyway. But like like I'm not gonna bother lighting that up because like y'all y'all can see that. It doesn't matter. Um So out here I suppose is it, and that's where I'm gonna have to get trees and stuff. There's a big, big dark spaces. I kind of want to check out these big dark spaces because that seems like a prime location to hide secrety things. Um, well, that one's even a bigger, big dark space. Um, so I kind of want to go over here and see if there's like a chest over here or something because it seems like there should be. It goes down. Is there something down there? Just popping torches down occasionally so that it's easier to see. Because sometimes it can get hard to see. Is there... I'm going to be sad if there's really nothing over here and I'm just wasting time again. Because I've... <laughs> you know what? I've spent so long in this map wasting time already. I basically spent all of last episode just wasting time. Is this ice a different color? No, it's just the lighting. Um... I can't... find anything. Wasting time! Go! Yay! Um... So yeah, I, I suppose that was just a big waste of time. Uh, but whatever, you know. Uh, what is... Oh, I'm only at negative 29? Negative 33. After wasting so much time? Alright. I feel like I can waste more time now, but I guess that wouldn't be very entertaining. So we're gonna go and... Go over there. She said, now I can explore both ways. So does that mean there's one that way and one all the way down there? I mean, I, I suppose if there is both ways for me to go, then that, the, the closer one is obviously, like, the one that I'm supposed to go to first, but... I don't know. Should I go down there and just... Just for the sole purpose of, like, skipping. <laughs> it's for the sole purpose of seeing if I can just straight up skip an area. Well, I'm not, like, purposely trying to skip it for, like, to not do it. Because I know that I'm gonna need stuff from there anyway. But let's, uh... I've got two stacks of cobblestone on my bar. Not on my bar. 
in my inventory. Um, so I might as well at least try to finish bridging, fi finish this bridge. Um, this way. So I can nom, nom some rations and is the, are there any holes in this? I don't think so. There's for some reason, oh, there's a hole. There's just, it's just not, it's just not snowing right there. Just, just that specific place. No snow. That's fine. Um, okay. So yeah, there's definitely an opening over there. Whoo! This is scary. I can understand, uh, Tali. I can understand why you lost your nerve. Uh, ooh, if my shift key does not... Ooh, my pinky's not gonna have a good time after this. Unlike most people, I don't get really put off by one block wide bridges like this, as, as long as I know that I'm not gonna get, like, shot off of it. Hello, Snow. I, I, saw, I saw you there. I saw you do that. Oh my, that was quick. So I figure it's just constantly snowing in this in this area. I figure in most open air places it's just going to be constantly snowing because ambiance and also so you can't see very well. I'm not excited to have to maybe deal with strays. Oh, I'm very close. I'm very close. I can finish this. Come on. I want to see what's over here. I'm gonna- I'm, I'm not gonna do these areas, like, immediately. <laughs> if there are areas over here, I don't really know. Oh, there's more staircases. Cool. Um, ooh. This is nice. This is very nice. Like, that's- that's cool, because, like, he did not have to do that and, like, put trees there. Like, this could just be, like, a wall, and I don't think- I don't think it would be that big of a deal, but, like, it's gotta make it pretty. I love- I love that. I love that so much. Anyway, let's go down here and see what this is. There's a hole in the bridge there. I feel like I should have a minecart, but I also feel like if I ride this minecart track, I'm gonna fall and die. Windchill Tundra Boreal Valley. Okay. Windchill Tundra. What's that? Sorry, I had to pause for a minute to check the, the how long this video is, but I'm I'm good. I've got a, I've got a few minutes. I see the minecart track going up. Uh, I'm gonna eat and check my temperature and keep running. Are these redstone lamps providing heat? Looks like it. That's cool. Wind chill tundra. Is it is are these the same signs? Yeah. Wind chill tundra. Ooh. I see a glass dome. And there's some there's a stone structure up there. There's the glass dome up there. There's more trees. I'm I, I like more trees. Okay. This is a nice little area. It's cool. I don't see any pink. So either Talia hasn't been here or she didn't see fit to put another outpost here. That's got stuff on top. I really wish that I had Optifine and that the clouds weren't just pitch black because <laughs> it kind of looks like a chunk error. Um... Anyway, yeah, uh, this is nice. It's almost kind of tranquil. With, like, the snow softly falling and the trees and the occasional abandoned structures that are probably full of monsters that want to kill me and eat my face. All right. Uh, so we're going to go back this way because I want to I wanna ride up that with a minecart just for the sole purpose of doing of, of doing that I feel like I feel like there's a high likelihood that the minecart will just drop me off into lava but you know 
If that happens, whatever. <laughs> if that happens, whatever, I deserve it. Uh, so I'll meet y'all, I guess, at the end of the, at the other end of the bridge. Okay, I'm at the other end of the bridge. Um, I say other end of the bridge. I need to be over there. Um, I was like, well, maybe I can bridge across, but that is, that's way too far for my, my poor little 55 cobblestone blocks. So we're gonna, uh, go, go down and, and go over there that way. Oh, I really like that there's like the, the rubble of the bridge that like was up there, but now it's down here and all cracked and broken and... I don't think there's a single stone brick down here that's not cracked. Which makes sense, because, you know, it fell from a decent height. Um, said that she had to build the coward staircase, but... Does that mean that she basically dug all this out? Because, like, if so, that's pretty freaking impressive. Um, <laughs> but, like, you just hop on up here. All right. Okay, this is significantly less long of a tunnel. So let's see here. There's a little waterfall. That's a nice little waterfall. I like it. And this way. Okay. There's water down there and there's like a little pool of... There, there's a little pool of please don't get trapped under the ice because you will drown and die and freeze to death. This is interesting. There's a... I know there's no natural spawns, but I, I need to light this up. I need to light this up. Why does it go like this? Is that supposed to be like a sight breaker? Like a... Did you go around and then there's a loading screen in the new area, like a, like in like portal or something. Oh, hey, intersection two. I'm surprised it's not intersection zero two. All right. So we've got three new areas. Miner's cavern. So I'm guessing that's where the miners were mining. Uh, central station. And Diggis Load Mine. There's another mine there. That's like, yeah, like, this is like a side breaker. And these are very nice, large hallways. I enjoy this. Okay. I don't see anything moving around in there, but... I'm also obviously, like, not close enough to be spawning things. So... Are these all... Dungeony areas, or is the central station supposed to be like a like a sort of hub area? I see spawners. I see I see spawners and cobwebs. Um. Okay. Spawners and cobwebs. I kind of want to just run in and throw down a bunch of torches, but I think that would be cheap. And also, I don't know if if Vex is able to set the spawners to spawn regardless of light level. Is that something that can happen? I'm gonna... I'm, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna... Oh, that's a cave spider. I see cave spider. No, thank you. Goodbye. Um, John, no, there's a, that's a staircase. Okay, cave spider. Uh, no, 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 no. Why am I having such trouble? You're so small and hard to hit. Did that say frost spider hatchling? It's poison. I don't like being poisoned. I don't appreciate being poisoned. Prime spider meat. Slimy yet satisfying. That is kind of disgusting. Um, so, frost spider hatchlings. Ooh, I hear more of them. Uh, 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 there. Uh, 
Um, line starts here. Oh dear. Machine stop. That's a frost spider. I feel like this is gonna kill me somehow. I'm gonna... Do you have thorns? Uh, okay. I don't know if this is where I'm supposed to be next, but it seems pretty... Nope. Cave spider. No, thank you. Goodbye. Oh, there's many of them following me. Um, you, you die. Die. I don't want- I don't want to deal with you. Go away. Go- why are you- That's super weird. He's like hitting me instantly as I hit him. Frost spider meat. Yuck. Uh, 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 okay. Spiders? Little bit- And those are just normal spiders. They're not like- they're not, like, faster or anything. But it's still harder to deal with them than fast zombies. Priority pass only. I'm just gonna adhere to the rules of the station that's no longer in use. There's a spider there. Okay, I'm gonna run over here and light this up, because I think there's a spawner here. I don't know, like, what the range on these spawners is. Oh, hey. You're at here. You're at here. Only 9G a day. Okay. Now hiring veteran miners. Volcanic mining experience. Very... Volcanic mining experience, very preferred. Okay. So, like, they're they're advertising for the Inferno Mines. I I mean, I assume, because, you know, volcanic mining and it's it, the same people, so that's cool. Um, lore. I love it. I love lore and things are connected and stuff. This is probably a bad idea, but you know what? I'm gonna do it anyway. Ooh, that's a, that's a spawner. That might be multiple spawners. Hello, cave spider. Oh, you can hit me through the wall. Nope, I'm running. I'm running. I'm running. I don't want to deal with you. I don't want to deal with you. I don't want to deal with your buddy even more. He's, he's going to poison me. Okay. Ow. 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 Okay. I didn't ow one more time. Okay. Alright. So, um... Let's see. Let's see how much time we have. Ooh, okay. This is probably gonna be a long episode. So, uh, I'm gonna end it off here. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna light up these hallways real quick just cause I feel like it. Um... But I'm gonna go back to the uh, to the geothermal plant, and I'm going to read the ne uh, the next book at the start of the next episode. Um, I'll probably do some like housekeeping stuff in between episodes, and maybe like AFK and wait for the wheat to grow because I'm running out of hardtack rations. And I mean, I guess I've got some spider meat that I can cook. That sounds weird. That's andesite, not gravel. Okay. There's a house over there. I'm getting distracted. Um, I'm not going to deal with that right now. Uh, but I'll go back and I'll, I'll read the next book, I guess. And kind of, I'm guessing that's going to tell me sort of which area I'm supposed to go to first. I mean, I know I don't have to do this map the way that it was necessarily fully intended, like, I could totally go back to that valley over there and take on an area that's way too difficult for me to be able to deal with with my uh, iron sword and chainmail armor and occasion and, and, and stone tools. Um, and, you know, currently only rotten spider meat. Um, 
So, yeah. Uh, I'm going to call it, and I'm going to go back to the geothermal plant and read the next book and see where I'm supposed to go next. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. There was a little bit of action there at the end with the spiders. Uh, this is probably going to be a longer one. My current clip that I'm recording now is like 26 minutes long. Uh, and I recorded some other clips before that of like the housekeeping stuff. Uh, so this is going to be a long episode. It might be more than more than 30 minutes, but I hope, I hope that's okay. Uh, I know some people like long episodes and some people like the shorter episodes that they can like watch in shorter shorter amounts of time uh but yeah I, i've said i've said it already but like i hope i hope everyone liked the episode um uh like and subscribe if you want to see more of what i do here and hit the bell to get notifications whenever things happen um i think y'all are probably hearing the the dump truck outside you've probably been hearing the dump truck outside for a while i've been trying to ignore it but it's kind of hard because i can hear it through my headphones uh, but yeah, uh, like, subscribe if you want to see more, uh, and I will, uh, I post videos, uh, currently on every Monday and Thursday, uh, my Mondays are my Let's Play and Thursdays are the, uh, Super Hostile Isolation. Uh, I'm getting my group together to start playing Delania, and I'm planning to release those on Saturdays, hopefully. Um, it could be Saturdays or Sundays, I don't know, uh. But I guess we'll see when I actually manage to, you know, it's, it's kind of hard to coordinate with four different people and trying to schedule things and stuff. Um, so, yeah, uh, with that, I'm going to say bye-bye!